I left my Buenos Aires National Wildlife Refuge camp and unexpectedly discovered an old ranch in ruins along the Aravaca Creek Trail. Pulling out of camp. It's been a nice one. Off we go. The High Gates Road. Views both ways for mountains. And it's a valley. Altar? Altar Valley. All right, back to the main road here. And, uh, this is called the Aravaca Sasabi Road. We are headed east. Is that really? Oh, it's the hunting regulations. I thought there was a mailbox. That would be funny. Off we go. Creek Trail. Let's see what this does. Oh, one car. All right. Let's go for a walk. This is the Aravaca Creek riparian area. It's a nice little shelter with a picnic table. Um, butterfly flew right at me. Oops, I was a little quick and dizzy. Let's see if I can do a better job of holding me still. So nice, we're walking along a riparian zone, and that means water flows here sometimes. And these big trees are. Amazing, aren't they? Wow, considering I've only been looking at the little bitty mesquites. I don't know, man. Willows and cottonwoods grow along. But check out the luggy bark on this stuff. I mean, it's thick stuff. Wow. I hope you can hear the birds. This is a delightful little walk through these branches arching over the trail. I hear a lot of doves. Yes, the spew of a hawk. Maybe we'll get lucky and get to see one. Pretty little flowers. Purple. Isn't that gorgeous? I love that lush green on both sides of the trail. It's something I haven't seen in a long time is lush green. Oh, more flowers. Oh, look at that. Let's see if I can get it. 
I'm pretty bad at aiming this camera. There we go. What the heck? It's just piles of, oh, I bet that's fencing and such. Because this was a ranch at one time. Well, we'll check it out here. Let's see what we have up here on this little trail. Cool. We have a ruin. More fencing. But look at this. Oh, wow. A ruin. Cool. We'll check that out. All right. So a little corral here. Very interesting how they build the fences here. I like that. Yeah. All right, somewhere in between. Here we go. Ooh, I want to go check that out. The old adobe structure. Start with walking around the outside of the structure and see what's going on here. I hear a lot of noises coming out of there. Oh my gosh, look at the sealed bed frame. Are we got here a door? Ooh, it looks like a hinge over there, so. Let's continue on our way, watching for nails and snakes on the way. It's a most incredible structure, the adobe mud bricks. You can see how thick those walls are by looking up here where the roof has collapsed and then covered with a limestone plaster finish. And somebody's leaving water out here for the folks that are just kind of trucking through and probably using this structure for some shelter, maybe shade. Pretty awesome building, really. You imagine it would stay cool and it would stay warm because of those thick walls. So let's go take a closer look at those walls, okay? Well, I have to guess it was a door, but you see what I mean about how thick it is? Okay, it's mud. Looks like there was a lentil here that might have burned at one time. Wow. That's pretty incredible. But, you know, if you can believe it, there's a water heater in here. So, at one time, somebody was probably, you know, living here. Uh, like cool bricks over there. All right. Very cool. Let's see down this way. There's an outside porch. We'll check that out as well. It looks like it's safe enough to walk into. All right, I'm out of the bright sunshine, and you can see the mud bricks here. And then the covering by plaster, which is worn away. But there's a story to be told here. All the wood has been burned, which is, I suppose, why the roof is gone, because the beams would have been burned as well. It's kind of sad. So it looks like it was a nice little place here, you know? A little niche here for storage of some sort. Wow. It's pretty incredible. But you can see where the structure has been burned. All right. Well, let's see what's in the next room. Bright sun. Um, entire wall missing. More burnt. Of the structure where the roof was. Oh, look, pieces of an old chair and a little bit of a table here. That's a metal that must have been up on the roof as well, you know. But when the frame burned, that was the end of that. All right, we're walking into the kitchen next. And look at that. Oh my gosh, this old sink. Whoo hoo, it almost reminds me of the sink that I had. And you're now, except mine wasn't a double. Same vintage, though, that wonderful enamel. Oh, look at that. A big, beautiful window that's gone. What a view, huh? I'm thinking that maybe this room was added on. Um, you can see where the old wall was and the lentils again. They're all burnt, the door and the window lentils. Wow. It's really sad to see that, but I guess it's just the way it is with old stuff. And let's see if the sun doesn't blind us too badly. We'll come around here and 
Look at the delightful little shade area that was made. Nice. And then back out here by the fences. Nice little Ramanda, Ramada here to create shade. And then you look at all the wonderful stonework over here. The grasses are filling it all in. It's very nice. And then come out here. Oh my gosh, look at that. There actually is. There was water here at one time, that's for sure. And then, ah, uh, that's really sweet. Look at that. A little, I'm going to call it an altar. And it looks like it had a water, a little pond by it as well. Nice. And another look at the house. I mean, it's great. Wow. What a cool place. I could live here. Have to put a roof on, but that'd be all right. So this looks like the barn or the shed and... I don't know how far into that I'll go because it looks like there's a lot of weird stuff stacked up here. Places for unusual critters to hide. But we'll walk over here and take a closer look a little bit. The whole thing is uh, leaning. Yeah, leaning just a little bit, would you say? Yeah. You know, workshop, workbench back there. And... Uh, I don't know, it looks like the topper for a pickup truck, but out of wood, how strange, huh? All right, another look back here at the house and the Ramada. Their beautiful view. There's the chute to load creatures. And now we're going to take a walk back. Back out the gate we go. Whoops. Hey, look at this. Some other hikers here. Isn't that wonderful? Wow, I'm gonna stop and talk to these two gals because they look kind of interesting. Look at that arch. Oh, what a perfect place for a photo, you ladies. <laughs> Roxy on the left, Ellen on the right. So nice to meet you ladies. I love meeting local people. All right, well, I'm back to the bench. And the bench looks like it offers amazing views into the top of these cottonwood trees and I've been there's probably a big old nest up in there somewhere that I'm looking for but I ain't seeing all right we're gonna walk between these two trees here there are delightful arches Ooh, check this out there's a hole can we see can you see what's in there something should live in there right like it used to be a big branch, but that's gone. All right, had to pause, pick it up. Little piece of bone. Lovely birdie place. All right. There's a grassland over there. Whew. Magical place. I love these tree skeletons. And they all bud out. I bet it's really shady here. Instead of the warmth that I'm dealing with right now. I mean, it's not hot. Just warm. And I'm within sight of the parking lot. So I think we'll shut her down and uh, well, I'll catch up with you at the next stop. Okay, back on pavement here, the Aravaca Sesame Road. Still heading east. There was an amazing stop. Amazing little walk. I love when stuff like that comes together.
Okay, but I got several other places I would like to get to today. And it is already 10.30 in the morning and getting warmer by the minute.